Hey everybody, Cyberboy here, and today I am playing the arcade game called Frogger, which is uh, one of the first arcade games available to play. Did it come out in the 70s or 80s? One of the two. Anyways, you control the frogs. Here there's five of them. I think you can have seven altogether if you want to. Um, but uh, as you can see, I'm trying to hop over to the other side where the little notches are in the grass. That's the frogs' homes. And this game is way harder than it seems to be, um, just so you know. You have to get the um, frogs just right, otherwise it won't uh, count as a um, win or whatever. <coughs> There we go, we got one. So as you can see, there is five lines of vehicles. Those are turtles, the red things, the logs. And I know that somewhere there's crocodiles. I think that's further um, upper levels or something. Um, and the little blue thing is like um, a fly. I don't know what that does unless it's just to give you points or something. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty fun game. I got three so far. I think you only have a minute, so 60 seconds to get each thing. See, I lost right there because I did not do it, um, get to the right point. And as you can see, some of the turtles going by flip over, and when that happens, that's whenever um, you want to avoid those as much as possible. Because <clears throat> if they flip over, you fall in the water and die. I don't know why though, because unless turtle turtles each eats uh, frogs, maybe I don't know for sure, and maybe because frogs can swim, so I don't know why when you hit the water you lose, um, unless the turtles eat you and then the logs crush you or something. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. Here I was trying to go over to the uh, turtles so I could maneuver over to the proper uh, thing. But this game is way harder than it seems because you have to hit everything just so. If you miss, you lose. So that's really annoying. There we go. Got the second one. Um, there we go. I got. I did not see the um, points go up though when I got the fly. So I don't know what that thing does, if anything. And if you get to the edge of the screen, you also lose. That's happened a few times to me. See right there. Um, and then as you level up through the levels, that's whenever um, 
that's when everything starts going faster I believe and you get new um, new obstacles to go through uh, some of these times I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing so that's why I kept getting killed okay there we go Oh, I missed again. By the way, this is the voiceover. I've already played the game the other day, and so I needed to do a voiceover in order to get everything up and running. Oh, I missed again. Good thing your little frogs are kind of fast. There we go. Oh, I, <laughs> I jumped up in the wrong time. Jumped into the water. All day today I've been working on my online store putting in new designs and creating new designs that's what I do on uh, that's one of the things I plan on doing <clears throat> every Tuesday just doing that all day so I can concentrate on doing that one thing the whole time and as I was doing that I was also taking a little break to watch the rock of fire rock of fire explosion band videos which are pretty awesome um, if you haven't seen those before those are from showbiz pizza place uh, which turned into Chuck E. Cheese later on um, but it's like an animatronic band there's the gorilla Fats Geronimo Mitty Mozzarella, which is a female rat, she's a cheerleader. Um, what else? Beach Bear, he's like a polar bear or something, but he lives on the beach, I guess. Um, Billy Bob is the mascot, he's the bear with. Um, I don't know what I was doing there. Billy Bob and Looney Bird. Uh, who else? Duke LaRue, he's the junkyard dog who plays the drums. Then there's Ralph, the comedian, and his hand puppet Earl. Then I don't know what the sun and moon uh, things are named. But I only seen them once in person. Um, that was when I was a little kid, and the mascot Billy Bear, or Billy Bob, I mean, he always, after the set of music finishes, because they have the band up at the front, then someone out in the costume comes and walks around, kind of like Chuck E. Cheese did, or does, and when I was a kid, I was in elementary school, and whenever the Billy Bob mascot came around, I he came towards the table and I started yelling and screaming and crying. <laughs> and I think that's the only that's why I only gone one time. But I the band is super memorable though, so that's why I like watching the videos because I remember some of the song sets that they did like the Odie's melody another game over as I said this one is super hard like more than you would think so and it's the first time I played it full disclosure I don't know if I 
if I mentioned it earlier, but I've recorded a previous video to this one, another Frogger, but I had no idea what I was doing, so I had to watch another one online to see what to do, because I went up on the grass things up there, and I thought that's what you're supposed to do, but I kept dying, and I was like getting all frustrated, and I was like, what's going on here? So I had to watch a video seem to watch someone else do it so I know what to do. <clears throat> Anyways, on my online shop I've been focusing on retro inspired designs so I was in the mood to play some of the Sega Genesis games. And those are made in the late 80s, early to mid 90s. So that's always fun. <clears throat> 